I mentioned before the failure of the Disney theme parks because the Disney theme parks have always been the last line of defense in terms of making money. If movies bomb, okay, but the theme parks are what they can fall back on. But when the theme parks start to fail in terms of making money, then you know you got problems. Then you know they're in for some hard future, a hard future ahead in terms of financially, financially speaking, I'll put it that way. Uh, basically, the theme parks are pretty much a ghost town, I'll put it that way. This is on Inside the Magic. Disney World left empty as park attendance crumbles. And they got a photo of that just pretty much like, like it's empty, it's a ghost town. The wait lines, are, the wait times and lines are shorter than ever. It says in the article, each and every year, millions of guests pour into Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, with the intention of having fun and making memories that will last a lifetime. Because of the incredible theming service, as well as jaw-dropping amounts of things to do, Walt Disney World is one of the most visited places on Earth. By itself, the Magic Kingdom is the most popular theme park destination in the world with record amounts of guests visiting each year. Magic Kingdom is followed by other theme parks at Walt Disney World as well as Universal Orlando Resort. However, not every day is crowded with Walt Disney World being left quite empty multiple times recently. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I did some videos on that in the past. Continuing on, you would think that the summer would be constantly packed at Disney World and you'd mostly be right. However, the quite, few, uh, quite a few days have been incredibly empty. <laughs> And I got photos here, continuing on in the article. Over the last weekend, the most magical place on earth uh, seemed to be super empty with several photos revealing just how not crowded the parks were. The pictures linked below show both Magic Kingdom and Epcot looking particularly empty on a normal weekend in July. And it said the tweet said, despite what Bob Iger wants us to believe, Disney World is empty. Yeah, the photos pretty much speak for themselves. Continuing on, most of the photos were later shared at Epcot on Saturday. The park looked just as empty as it did earlier that weekend. More photos showing just Ep Epcot is Epcot. Sorry, Epcot is just I say it, say it is totally empty. It's failing on all fronts. The theme parks are pretty much like a ghost town. You can go there pretty much, and there's not like if there even is a wait. Wait, you know the wait the 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 waiting time in lines used to be like what like a, like an hour, several hours. Now it's like what twenty minutes at most. Yeah, when the theme parks start to fail, you know you're in trouble, because that was their last line of defense. I mean, movies bombing, cruise line failing, theme parks failing. I mean, really, they're failing on all fronts financially. Woke SJW Disney refuses to learn their lesson. See, normal people don't want their ideology. See, you just stick to family-friendly entertainment, you might earn back some of your customers, but you push away the customers. See, the people are trying to pander to these woke SJW, blue-haired, feminist, lesbian, you know, transgender, whatever's on the internet. They're not the majority. They're a, a loud and annoying minority who make such a racket that they give the impression that they're the majority opinion. But they're not, and that's evident by the Disney's failure. See, the majority keeps... See, we're, we're the silent majority, and we just protest by keeping our wallets closed. And they fill it in theirs eventually. So, wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.